Have you ever wondered how to create your own running workouts in the Garmin Connect app? In this video, I'll show you how to use the Garmin Connect app to create your own custom running workouts. Let's get into it. Okay, so I've opened the Garmin Connect app on the web browser and now I'm ready to make my own custom running workout. You can do this on the mobile app of Garmin Connect. However, I find it a lot easier on the computer itself. So to create your own custom running workouts, we'll first head over to the training and planning section and down to workouts. Here is where you'll be able to create a wealth of running workouts. We'll go to select workout type and select run, then to create workout. So you can see here, it'll pre-populate with three different sections to a workout, warm up, run and cool down. Personally, I like to delete all of the steps to have a clean canvas to work off of. Let's say we're wanting to do six by 800 meter intervals as our running workout for this one. We'll first add a step and I obviously start off with a warm up. So I'll go warm up and you can either choose time, distance, pushing the lap button or go by calories or heart rate. For me personally, I just like to do time, choosing to do 10 minutes of my warm up before getting into the workout itself. So we'll go here and then that's there for the warm up. Now, because we're doing interval sessions, we can actually set it up as a repeat rather than stepping it out six times individually. So we'll click here to add a repeat. So what this means is we will repeat whatever is in this section as many times as we put in the, the times completed. So here, this is where I'll put six. We'll edit this step, which is our effort section of the workout. And I will do distance and we'll do 800 meters. So we'll go zero, 5.8. Now you can take this a little further if you're trying to keep a certain pace, cadence, heart rate zone, or a particular heart rate. Personally, I like to do it by pace. So I'll usually do it, say around four minutes per kilometer to four minutes, 10. So what this will do is once it syncs to your Garmin, you will be notified during the workout if you're within the range of the pace that you've set or if you're falling outside of it. Now that I've done the effort section of the 800 meters, I'll also include a recovery. Here, I'll choose this by time. So giving myself approximately two minutes to recover between each rep. Choosing no target here and using this as a walking rest. However, that is up for complete change and customization if you're choosing to do a float, for instance. Now that we've got the intervals put into our workout, I'll also conclude the workout with a cool down. So adding another step here, going into edit, choosing cool down. Again, similar to how I warm up, I like to choose a cool down by duration. So I'll give myself 10 minutes to cool down after the intervals. And there we have an example of a workout being created. You too can also customize the name of the workout. So I'll do six by 800 in the intervals. Tick that to save the name, and then we'll save that as a workout. So now once this is saved, you can also choose to send it to your device. So once your Garmin syncs again, it'll be ready to use as a workout option. Furthermore, if you're like me training for marathons, I usually like inputting it into the calendar so it's ready to go. So we'll go to calendar. Then let's say I'll use the 19th as the day that I'll do my six by 800 meters. And I'll drag the 600 by 800 meter intervals into the 19th. So again, once my Garmin syncs, it'll be loaded and ready to go for me to use. As you can see, there's lots of ways to customize your running workouts in the Garmin Connect app. So be sure to experiment and have fun with it. And a quick disclaimer to end this video is to check if your Garmin has the capability to create custom workouts, as some older generations may not be able to do so. I hope that you found this video useful and all the best with your running out there. I'm Jack, and I'll see you next time. Catch up.